Welcome to the Windows channel and this is another video where we're going through the Windows 10 settings one by one in the settings app. Um, some of these videos are also good for Windows 8. It depends on the settings. So now we are going to take a look at the default app settings. In all settings we go into system. On the left side you have default apps. This is basically all the apps that will open the different files or do the different um, actions that we desire depending on what we do with the computer. It's nice to have default applications because we always have the same interface or the same program every time we do something. So these are customizable for the most part and it even is very customizable if you really want to. The first that you see in the default apps are of course the general defaults. Email which is in Windows 10 mail app but you can choose whatever application you want it to open default apps. You can also click look for app in store if you want to have or try to find something else. Uh, so we got Maps. Maps also has its own uh, default. Music Player. You see here I've changed mine for Pod Player. In some apps, for example here Music, it tells you Groove Music recommended for Windows 10. Now for Music, it's possible that I could change this because one of the things that I do is listen to music mostly with Groove Music. So that could be a better choice for me. I will choose. and. As you see here, some apps, if you're not sure which one to choose, look for something that's called recommended for Windows 10. That means this is the app that Microsoft recommends. It doesn't mean it's the best. Don't mix both. Recommended and being the best app for specific item is not the same thing. So everything that you've installed that can play music, for example, here will be available in this list. Photo viewer, of course, once again, you can click here recommended is photos but I've got some other programs that can open pictures so um, there's you know GIMP for new image manipulation paint then you've got video player that one is spot player for me because I think film and TV is not the best but if you wish you can change that to whatever default if you install VLC it's gonna appear here you choose your own defaults finally web browsing for example I've got Firefox and Chrome installed uh, Internet Explorer, Google, Firefox, everything is in here, even Opera as I have it installed. So you choose your default web browser. Don't know what to choose, you're wondering if you did the right choice, you want to just go back to what Microsoft offers as default, big reset button. We'll just change all of that to the default settings that Windows 10 has in general. Now, you have the general settings here because for example video player is very general there are tons of files out there for video formats so maybe you want to have specific programs or apps for a specific file format and that's where choose the default application by file type is here you have every every file type that exists on your computer. So basically, if you look at it here, um, every type of app that actually can open a specific file is going to happen here. So here, for example, it's saying that default app was reset. It does happen from time to time in Windows 10, by the way. Don't panic over this. So if you want to select a specific file for a specific program, you can go here and change that. So for example, maybe you don't want to have, um, you know, a Crobat reader for PDFs. What you would do is you go down to PDF, as these are file extensions you see on the left side here. So you go down to PDF and basically what you do is once you find PDF, let's just go and try to find PDF. Um, it's coming soon. Here we go. We're getting getting there. Uh, our 
We're getting to P soon. There it goes. There's a lot of file formats as you see here. So dot PSD, uh, PDF coming up. Here we go. PDF Acrobat document. If you want, you can click and it's going to show you everything that can open a PDF that you have on your computer. You know, by default, for example, on PDF, Microsoft Edge can open PDFs in Windows 10. So you don't necessarily need third party apps like Adobe Acrobat Reader. But you can choose another app for a specific file. What that means is the specific file, when you have it, will open with a specific application instead of the general applications. Um, some defaults, some file extensions do not have defaults because when you see choose a default for a specific file, it simply means that you don't have the programs needed to open this file. So if you see a file format in here that you wanted to uh, open and it doesn't work, well, you might see that there's no default, there's no app for this. And you can search for that on the web if you wish to have a uh, association check what you need to open a specific file type. What else do we have? choose default applications by protocol. This is a little more complex. This is depending on the type of protocol from the internet, you might want to have specific apps open a specific protocol. So for example, Bing News is of course the protocol for the news app. And very often these are a little more difficult in, to understand, but most apps that have a protocol will usually use only one protocol. But in sp some apps, there might be other sources, if you want, for the specific protocol. So, if, uh, for example, here, FTP, a file uh, transfer protocol, you might want to choose what's the default app for FTP. And I'm going to say here, uh, Firefox. And now when I go to an FTP site, Firefox will be the default for that. Some are not associated. Once again, if you're not sure, search the web for such um, associations, see which associations you would actually put there. And finally, set defaults by app. If you click here, you will have the control panel default programs. So here it will, of course, search for all the programs you've got on your computer. And once it's done, you can click an app and select what type of default do you want this program as a default for a specific type or content and so on. It tells you which type of documents it might open. So depending on what you have, you can actually search and select anything as a default. And this is from the default programs in the control panel. So this was the default apps tab in the settings. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. Hopefully you enjoy our videos and welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for following us.